Rui or Askit, I greet you today as we come into a time of mutual expansion in which your world and our world are both caught in a kind of a vortex of a spiralling out of what had been perhaps chaotic but kept in a strict order. Now your world in your history which you are familiar with has had time after time, wave after wave of a generational rulership that has risen and crashed and you have all had some experience within that either of uh, thriving or enslavement or passing through perhaps warfare perhaps nothing much at all from one life to another yet those who have been in power have waited and watched and planned and you know this as you have been paying attention uh, to certain undercurrents of your historical process coming out into the open. What you have been content with as far as your stability in the government and stability within the social structure perhaps is masking something that is undermining something more substantially human than what you might see on the outside, especially for those who have been on the planet for just a short time. Now, we say that our histories are in some way entangled, and this is true. And now, what we have been experiencing on the microcosm of the, the worlds that the League of Light is involved with and sources from is not the entirety of what we're talking about. This is one aspect of a greater collection of worlds which has been involved in a long-standing evolution of a dynamic within which the power structures of an ancient race have been attempting to overthrow some a bit of a structure that they find irritating and obstructive toward what their aim is, which is merely to exist and to expand themselves. To this end, many worlds have fallen, and this history is related to you in other places and from other sources, which we encourage you to explore. And more of your history will be opened up in the times to come. Now, the history of the human race within the galaxy has been something of a theme lately. And we continue it now with uh, a deeper look into what you can expect as this year before you dwindles down, you come to a resolution, perhaps, to explore what lay ahead as a new year dawns, as a new type of hierarchy establishes itself within the framework of the world machine. Things have been going along a certain way and you've become accustomed to it. But this does not make it natural and it does not make it of the greatest benevolent spirit for your people. I speak of the global humanity and not of any particular nation or uh, religious structure or any other minutia of division which you have elaborated within the history of your people. Now, what lay ahead 
is a great opportunity for you to let go of what had been given to you. And and this season and this spirit of accepting something new and opening up to something which you had not heretofore had within your grasp, which you don't know it is there. Well, this is a bit of a, a puzzle for you right now. Uh, but suffice it to say that so far in your history you have not had this opportunity of an alignment within various factions of the world machine coming together and to allow yourselves to release what has been the norm for you would be something bold and radical yes and something that would allow you to re-establish yourselves within a definition of humanity which you create yourselves believe it or not in this moment now ahead of you is a blank slate there are so many probabilities at play you are at a juncture of various streams of history that could play out we would suggest that in order to find the path ahead that leads to the greatest reconciliation of humanity with the potential that lay within what we have been saying over and over is the, the divine within you and we say that without any reference to any religious structure that you know rather than to the reality within the physics of spatial relations within the reality of vibratory physics which in reality within the reality of what is in the world for you yet to discover and define but which is very real this divine within you has the potential to ricochet you out of a a historical precedent which would lead to some uh, rather disappointing ends and to a future in which you can enjoy the fullness of your true potential as divine humans in recognition of yourselves and the way to do this is to reconnect with that which has been largely forgotten and set in disarray through the work of various people throughout time many things have been lost and forgotten many things have been destroyed pathways back to remembrance have been purposely confused to inhibit your full recollection of yourselves yet it is possible to find your way back into a remembrance of who you are and to stand fully and completely in the awareness of yourselves within this moment as people who can recreate a glorious humanity something that has been swept aside politicized divided 
something that you've been trained to mistrust, something that you have been trained to hate, in fact. There are such treasures within the bloodlines of your world, the forgotten and the mistreated and the neglected bloodlines of your world. We ask that you consider where you're going now and to see that amalgamation of a people into a planetary consciousness is not the same thing as a homogenization of the humanity that exists on the surface of a world. Rather, it is a full appreciation of all of the differences within and between you, and to see that in the space between is where the light is given its full brilliance and a full range of possibility to enhance a kind of innate expression of humanity within each individual. We speak to you from across time, from a place in which we have travelled past so many milestones of having conquered that which has presented itself as destruction and as a deep challenge to the furthered existence of our people. Perhaps for no reason other than to wake us up. It's been a very, very long time since this movement started within the different fields of play at which the worlds of humanity exist. We've seen so many worlds come into confrontation with that which would defeat the purpose of the divine mind to understand what it is to exist as an individuated expression of divinity with a unique and complex song of frequency and light. That is what you are, each of you listening now. As we ride the same wave that you are now encountering on your world, a wave of expedition of the movement of all of the particulate influences that create the matter of which you are made, of the understanding which fills the space in which you occupy uh, a human conscious people. We're traveling together into uncharted territory. If we have access to certain records that you have in large part forgotten. So we ask you to come to remembrance, to set aside all these things that are keeping you from exploring time and witness your becoming more than what you can imagine yourselves to be. We speak from a place in which humanity has 
risen through crisis after crisis and achieved a great coherence in expression and direction, mission, purpose and loving cohabitation as a unitary consciousness, as a people who know as individuals what they are and where they have come from. We are a foundation point for your future and in a very short time your world will be unrecognizable to who you have been in the past. If you look around you might see certain changes which make the world unrecognizable to you already. And so, dear ones, as this year winds down and you face the light of a new dawn, as we've said so many times before, and the secret to that is that every moment you have a new opportunity to recreate your reality. We offer you our friendship and our love and in peace we say as another day dawns so too do new horizons for your people and your world this is ask it the league of light i wish you pleasant tomorrows and blessed blessed time